you know, there are a lot of countries that call themselves democracies. But the thing that makes the democracy of the United States so distinctive from any other in the country, in, a, in the world, is that it requires citizen participation. And uh, so there were just, I mean, this was really a bottoms up grassroots um, effort. I mean, here, here's something that impacted on, you know, 123,000 people back in 1942 out of a population of 200 million people. Who cares? You know, forget it. But yet this thing kept on bubbling up because people work at working at the grassroots level all across the country. And uh, so there were just a lot of people. I remember uh, um, from Seattle, uh, Mrs. Kinoshita, Cherry Kinoshita, um, you know, being one of those who was always agitating for citizen groups to get involved in this thing. And uh, um, frankly, uh, there were some of these groups that, that who were also lambasting me for taking the legislative approach. Um, Bill Horry just ripped me, a, ripped me a new one. And uh, he thought I was a sellout. Well, he thought my brother-in-law, Mike Masoka, was a sellout that uh, he's, he said, you know, he said, he's the one who put us in camp. Well, give me a break. And so, I mean, uh, you know, we were having to swim against the tide too within the community. And, uh, and some of the uh, frankly awful things that Bill Horry said about JCL, Mike Masoka, Georgie Ninakaki, uh, Ta Dr. Tom Yatame, Masato, all these, and against those of us in the Congress who were pushing the legislative approach, uh, it was not a. Uh, it was not a. Even for people like uh, Cherry Kinoshita and people, and there was, there was a group, citizen group, in San Jose that was outside some of these other groups, and you know they were having to. Uh, speak uh, in opposition to what other Nisei groups were doing. But uh, so it's hard to point out individuals.